finding the right fragrance is as important to a girl as the right pair of shoes or the right shade of eyeshadow. Get it right and it will add confidence and swagger to your look. Here to tell us about perfumes and to show us some of her faves is Katie Puckrick from Katie Puckrick Smells. Thanks for dropping by, Katie. Thanks for having me. So what is Katie Puckrick Smells and why did you name it that? Because it sounds like <laughs> someone wrote it on the bathroom stall when you were a kid. Well, I'm not going to go into my traumatic past right now, but um, <laughs> Katie Puckrick Smells is my YouTube review channel and it's also a thinly disguised way to turn my little perfume obsession into a career. And what I do is I do zippy, quippy, honest, anti-snob reviews of men's and women's fragrances. And my whole approach is just kind of playful, a little frisky, a little cheeky. Love it. Yeah. I love cheeky. I love I cheeky can tell. and snotty and, and well, there, not anti-snotty, but snobby there, in a very tongue-in-cheek kind of way. There's, there's a few tongues and a few cheeks. Love it. I love that. Okay, so I think I have a clip because I want to see this. Okay, so let's good. see you reviewing Pink Sugar. All right. Aqualina Pink Sugar is catnip for tweens. The other day at Sephora, I witnessed three 11 year olds clawing past each other to get to the tester. Oh my God, have you smelled this one? I love this one so much. Oh my God, get out of my way. Oh my God, have you smelled this? I love this one. Oh my God, get out of my way. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it smells so good. I kicked them all to the curb and grabbed it first. It's a dog smell dog world out there, kids. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it sounds like me and Chelsea. It's truly, yes, it's based on you guys. It is, see, we're just snotty little tweens, really, <laughs> all at heart. Uh, okay, so what is so sp special about perfume for you, and why do you have this obsession? Well, the obsession stems from the fact that in one simple little bottle, that juice that you, you've squirted out on yourself is magic. It can transform you. It can turn you into a temptress. It can turn you into an innocent angel. It's, uh, it's a one-size-fits-all work of art. I feel like it's, it's a really playful thing thing that also uplifts your spirit and gives you confidence and ramps up your sexuality. That's interesting. I never really thought about it like that. It can kind of change your personality oh, a yeah. little bit based on what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. It can turn you into sort of like a vixen or, you know, a little cherub. A little bit of a cherub or an accountant stuck in an elevator. Oh, that's boring. We if, don't like that smell. No, that's if you make the wrong decision on your, your fragrance. That's why you're here to school us. Yeah. Right? Okay. So how far back can we trace perfume? I can imagine a long time, right? Yeah. Well, you know, perfume is hugely popular today. What with the celebrity fragrances and everything but it's mm -hmm. it's back to the times of the olden days and in antiquity incense was really the first perfume and the people of of antiquity thought that you could talk to the gods by burning incense mm -hmm. and I mean when Cleopatra wanted to make a splash with Mark Antony she would cruise into town on her barge loaded down with tons literally tons of petals of of rose and jasmine and you know she knew how to make a splash it's even in the bible i mean you you, you read all about frankincense and myrrh the the mm -hmm. three wise men when they visited little baby jesus mm -hmm. they were they weren't showing up with with pampers they didn't have diapers <laughs> they brought the kid perfume which i think frankly is wasted on a baby but, you know <laughs> unless it's baby powder perfume yeah. that's all right okay so i see you brought a variety of perfumes with mm -hmm. you um, i tend to go for you know sort of like a fresh and fruity kind of scent mm -hmm. are any of these in that realm well these are all gorgeous fragrances, but um, this, when you say fruity, I mm -hmm. think about this one. It's called Vanille Abricot by Comptoir Sud Pacifique, oh, wow. which is a fancy way to say vanilla apricot. Oh, that's easy. And um, it turns you into a piece of walking cake. Oh, I like that. And, um, oh, wow. Yes, that's delicious. I kind of want to eat it. Well, see, this is what's going to happen when you start having men following you around with a fork. Oh, okay. And you're going to have to that watch out that. for that. Love that. All right. Do you know I used to be a perfume sprayer? Did you? I was. Were yes. you? Did you? You were the, one of the people that followed people around and yes. traumatized them. Yes. And they wanted to kill me. Of course. They. It's the the visceral reactions that came out of uh, of their mouths were. It was kind of crazy. They would kick me away. Well, it's an assault. It's an olfactory assault. I mean, yeah. of course, fragrance is perfect when you select it yourself, but when you don't want to be covered head mm -hmm. to toe mm -hmm. in some... Would you like to try the latest? It's fall. I really don't. Please? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I'd be like, come on, please. It's my job. I need to sell some. I know karate, lady. <laughs> Steer clear. Yes. They hated me. Not a fun job if you don't like rejection. Right. Okay, so uh, this is great for day. Right. I love it. And if I want to be eaten with a fork, um, let's. Uh, do you have anything for night? Something sexy or sultry? I have. Okay, this is one of my favorite perfumes, and it's actually a masterpiece from 1925. It's by oh. Guerlain. It's oh. called Shalimar, 
And this was the perfume that flappers and bad girls of the 20s would wear. Perfect for and me. It, it was said, it was said that a lady doesn't do three, three things. She doesn't smoke, she doesn't dance the tango, uh -huh. and she doesn't wear Shalimar. Nice. So, and they did all three. And they did all three. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very sultry, um, smoky vanilla. Oh, it's wow. vanilla and amber and it has a almost a, a woody quality. It's not, it smells a little bit like a men's cologne almost. Is it, that? It's not hugely floral. That's mm -hmm. what I really like about it because I like things that are a bit more dense and a bit more mysterious and exotic. And this mm -hmm. was really one of the first fragrances that was billed as an oriental, which it, it kind of goes away from the florals and more towards those, those kind of woody like scents. muskier? Yeah, muskier, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I really like that one. And on the skin, it really, uh, it really blooms and it turns you into a, a little bit of a... A vixen? A little bit of a queen of Sheba. A flapper? Yeah. Oh my god, all of a sudden I feel like I should be shimmying with a little dress on. Okay, so where do you put perfume? Because I feel like a lot of people either overdo it or underdo it. They don't put enough on. Um, they're putting them in the wrong places. Are there certain places that well, we should? It, it's a minefield because definitely you can overdo it. And the mm -hmm. thing is, if you love a fragrance and you wear it all the time, you become immune to the smell your nose just starts to tune it out True. so that's kind of a good that's my excuse for having like a hundred perfumes in my collection nice. because I don't want to miss out on my perfume but uh, if you just want to be subtle about it and mm -hmm. just have it be a secret between you and whoever's invading your personal space mm -hmm. then just a little discreet spritz down the decolletage just down the front okay but if you want to be a little more dramatic with it and broadcast your goddessness mm -hmm. then I just go <laughs> whoosh up my arms because that's you know where you're gesturing yes in a Zsa Zsa Gabor style way yeah. and then also around your neck and uh, behind the nape of your behind neck. The nape. Okay, yeah. just in case someone happens to be sniffing the back of your neck. Well, no, also when you kind of sail through into the room, make an entrance, people are going, Oh, Who's there that? she is. Katie, thank you so much. Oh, thank I really you so much, appreciate Carla. it. I have a new appreciation for perfume. Uh -huh. To see Katie's perfume reviews yourself, they're snarky and funny. Check them out at fumehead.com. Now over to a pair whose natural scents rival those of a rolling Irish meadow, Mark and Chelsea.